Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It is Man in the Canada Super Pig Man here today with another video. And today we're going to be playing some more Kenshi. And today we're actually going to be talking about a requested one. And we're going to be talking about Stobe and how he is and stuff. And I kind of wanted this to be more of a discussion type of thing because Stobe is kind of a gray area when it comes to the lore and everything. So I'll just explain the lore behind it and then I'll tell you guys my own opinion on it. So we do know one thing about Stobe is that he is one of the giant skeleton things that you know the ancients have built to protect humans against like some type of external threat and they weren't really programmed like the skeletons that have their own way of free thinking and stuff like that like you know the skeletons kind of aren't really robots but at the same time they are because you know they don't they, they could feel but they don't feel you know what i mean so these um giant skellies they they were programmed in a different way and for some reason they didn't do this on the regular skeletons but they were programmed in a different way where all they would want to do is protect the humans no matter what. So, Stobe is pretty much the last one that we know of and kind of the only one we know that didn't die out of obedience and kind of has two places named after him which is Stobe's Gamble and Stobe's Garden. Now you can't see Stobe I think somewhere by Stobe's Garden if I remember correctly. I, I am not sure I haven't visit visited a place in a while and honestly Stove is really really a gray area because after obedience he, he kind of didn't obey the people and then after like a couple like you know i don't know how long the time gap is it's just really hard to fill in these gaps and i really don't want to try to speculate everything but i think it, it's like a couple years or something like that and then he like to the skeletons he's kind of a god and to humans people don't really know about him that much and it's kind of because you know it's been a long ass time since people have known about the first empire now what i think about stobe is it's kind of weird you know the skeletons kind of preach him as a god you know they say that oh he protected he gave his life up just to you know save humanity from this meteor or this like rocket or something like that and i think about it and i'm like why <laughs> that doesn't make sense you know because if something like that would have happened then everybody else would have known it it would have been passed on from generation to generation except in the hn where they could have said oh kron or kron sent this giant mechanical thing uh, this agent of narco and or kron struck him down with a rocket or something you know there would be some kind of variation of that and for some reason there isn't really that much talked about of stove's death because hey you know uh, if he was really protecting like that then you know, word would have gotten into HN and HN would want to make their own twist on it and like everybody would be talking about it, but not everybody talks about it because it's kind of a huge thing, you know? So that makes me think Stobe didn't really throw his life for that. On the other side, I do think he did give up his life for something. Now, you know, I said that, you know, these giant skellies or behemoths, that's what they were called, behemoths, they have their use to humans. They're completely loyal to humans and they will do anything for humans. Now, I think Stobe really just saw what humans needed and he decided to kind of self-destruct. And I know that that might sound dumb, but think about it. Stobe is meant to do what's best in humanity's interest. That's the whole entire reason he was created. If humanity could not handle him, then why would he stay around and pose a threat to humanity rather than taking his own life? I believe that so much more than you know, the old theory that he got hit by, you know, some type of rocket because Stobe, Stobe is supposed to do what's the best for humanity. Even that rocket couldn't make sense, but it just doesn't make sense because nobody talks about it. But the other, the latter, you know, that I was talking about that he decided to self-destruct himself would really make a lot more sense because, hey, you know, he's supposed to protect humanity and humanity's everything above what he wants. So he could essentially kill himself just to save humanity. And... It's just, it's it's a very, very plausible theory. Now, the reason that, you know, Stobe is really kind of in the huge gray area is because he comes from a long, long time ago. A long, long, long time ago, like 10,000 to 12,000 years ago or something like that. I, I really do not know. <laughs> he just comes from the first empire, which was really highly techno technological. And it's just hard to, you know, talk a lot about him without knowing a lot about him. But Stobe is a really controversial thing, if you really think about it, because we don't know that much about him, and a lot we're doing is drawing conclusions to our speculation, you know? And I just think that we should look at Stobe with a closer eye and seeing that he probably killed himself for the betterment of humanity. And honestly, 
I do believe that. But Stobe is a huge question figure. Tell me what you guys think about Stobe and your own theories on him. Hopefully, you guys do have some theories on him. Hopefully, you guys didn't remember to leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and peace.